Hey! Oh my god, it's already a devlog number 10. It sounds like some kind of anniversary and it needs a proper celebration. Oh, and also the channel finally reached 1000 subscribers. You know what that means? Thank you to everyone who watches, likes and comments on my videos. Your support is what fuels my motivation and my excitement to create even better content. I'm sincerely grateful to all of you guys. Well, it's a devlog, isn't it? So let's move on. So what I've been up to? Well, since most of you guys liked me rapping, of course there were people who didn't like it. Here's some more. Yo, listen up, I got a story to tell About my journey through the networking spell Decided it was time to expand my reach So I delved into Unity Ready to breathe Started with the relay and net code Never touch network, I was ready to go Design a slick UI, clean and sublime A table asking if you're local or online I'm on the grind, making connections divide Relay and net code are good for online Building bridges, breaking barriers Here, with the same UI, let's make it clear Create the room Simple as can be, it handles everything, no trouble, you see When it's time to join, it's a different game Gotta input the code to be ready to play For the room creator, the code must be shown I revamp the UI, I went for the throne A second player table revamped and clear No confusion, just the room code will hear Now the network is strong, the game is alive Player join rooms, feeling the vibe Network may be new, but I'm in control With unity by my side, I'm not alone So remember my friend, embrace the unknown let your skills be ready and also be shown Unity, net, code and relay It's time to wrap this up, I might say I dropped this rap, it may sound cringe But hey, I'm not a rapper, that's the fringe You think it's whack, you're actually right But it's YouTube, I must do what I do And I hope I made you smile, that's my golden rule well, I thought it will be easy. It didn't go as easily as I initially planned. I implemented UI, it was working fine. I made it to the point that the player can create and join the room and select the character as well. However, I noticed that it takes time to make it actually work during the gameplay. So I decided to make it an additional update after launch, since I need to focus more on the gameplay. It's sad and I know my mistake. I should have begun with the networking right from the start, but I'll make it work, all good. There's more! So I was making the new announcement trailer and decided to add some eye candy effects. Trust me, once you'll see what I've added, you'll think I'm nuts. I added the pigeons on the rooftops chapter. I don't know, they are fun to chase around and add some life to the environment. What do you think? Do you like them? Please let me know in the comments. Anyway, here's how I made them. Basically, there are three main components for this. Let's start with the pigeon zones manager. It checks the available pigeon zones and chooses the right one for the pigeons to fly on. Pigeon zone. This script has placeholders for the pigeons. Basically, the zone is a list of waypoints where the pigeons can land. Once the pigeon is sitting on the waypoint, it marks it occupied, so the other pigeon won't be going there. And the last one is the pigeon. It's basically a very simple movement from one position to another. Well, it's working. I've added flying and idle animations and it's fun to watch them fly away. I've spent a couple of hours on this, but I think it's worth it. I like when the games have random details like this. So I decided I need to do these more. Okay, forklift time. Driving around the forklift in game is pretty fun. So I thought I'll make a racing track on the level where the forklift is introduced. It will be totally optional, but I'm thinking that the mechanic will introduce it. Something like overworkers were bored at work, so they made a track to race it. If you want, you can give it a go. And there's a timer. The track is short, takes around 12 seconds to drive around and maybe a bit too short to aim for the high score. So maybe I'll make a couple of laps to finish it so the players will be able to randomly race on the track. What do you think about these random features in the game? There is one more thing. I'm thrilled to let you know that the game will be showcased at the OTK Games Expo. So if you don't have too many plans, definitely stop by. You may also see me talking on live interview. And yeah, I think that's it for the video. Hope you liked my freestyle and additions to the game. Thank you for watching and as always, till the next one.